Well, here we are in Reason, and now you'll be glad to know that everything comes in one box. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, what it essentially means is you can stop worrying about what product you're going to buy, uh, which version, how many things you've got to install, and whether or not you need plugins or extra instruments, because you just don't. Everything is now nicely packaged in one application, and Reason will now do everything you need it to do. Uh, for every part of your project. So we've got audio editing, we've got audio mixing, we've got all the great instruments and routing uh, from the original Reason and everything is packaged into this one application. In this tutorial, I'm gonna concentrate on Reason's mixing capabilities. And this includes the studio grade console, um, some of the great M-Class devices and the audio editing capabilities and the routing capabilities of the application. To do this, I'm going to use a project of mine, well, a remix of mine, that some of you may recognise. I'll start it playing. And it's a remix that I actually completed in a seven-part tutorial on The Hub, which is our online magazine. And it's a remix of a guy called Church Williams. Now, Church is a great friend of Matt Pro Video, and he's kindly let us use the track. You can check out his site here, and you can check out his music there, and uh, even buy it and download it. So I'd strongly advise you go and uh, check out Church's site. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to look at his track and my remix that I did, and we're going to look at you know, how we can polish it and mix it, because these are the dry files from Logic that I used, and you can hear that the levels are a little bit all over the shop, and there's no effects on anything. So it needs to be polished, and this is an ideal opportunity to check out Reason and check out how it can help us uh, mixing our projects. So first of all, I'm going to look at the studio grade console and then we're going to have a quick look at the rack and then past that we're going to move on to the devices that could be useful to you. And hopefully by the end we're going to have a vague approximation of what we had uh, that, of the project I mixed in Logic. And uh, it may sound a little different but you know, you're really going to get an idea of how to mix your tracks. So let's have a quick listen to this and then we'll move on and look at the console. <laughs> 